For your final project for college success, you are being asked to make a recording. Some of you might choose to use just a voice recording instead of video. And I would like to propose that you use a site called Vocaroo. So it's V-O-C-A-R-O-O. -O -O. Go ahead, yep, vocaroo.com. So as you can see, it's very simple. You press the button and it starts recording. First, you're going to have to allow the microphone. And then I can press stop to stop recording, but this is my example. I can also click pause and I can click play to continue. Once I'm done, I click stop. You can hit the play button just to see what it sounds like. If you're satisfied, you can save and share. What I'm actually going to recommend is that you download this particular file. I think that would work the best. You can also copy the link, but let's see which works better. So I'm going to do a slides.new because I'm assuming you're going to be doing a Google slide that as this person's advisor. I'm going to insert audio. My guess is, yeah, it wants to go to Google Drive. So let's do it that way. Um, let's open up our drive and make a new folder for all of these things. So this is gonna be my Vocaroo folder. And there it is. I am going to go over to the three dots or you can right click and immediately I'm going to click that share button. This is very, very important. I want anything in here to be accessed by anyone with the link or anyone in the Gadsden Independent School District. So I can click done there. Now I'm going to open the folder and with my recording, I can just drag and drop it. If you're on a Chromebook, you might need to use the app launcher to find the file and then drop it in there. So if you've done it this way, again, I have those three dots where I can right click and I can just click that share button just to make sure. But look, anyone with the link is the viewer. So that's why we do it at the folder level. So I don't really have to think about it anymore. Now I can go to my recent. This is my favorite, right? Just click on the Vocaroo and insert. So it's creating that audio and that's going to be embedded there. Let's give it a try. Perfect. So one more time, we go to vocaroo.com. We are going to start recording. And as soon as we are done and satisfied with our recording, we click stop. I can save and share. I'm going to download my file and you'll see that it looks suspiciously the same. But let's go back to Google Drive. We made a folder called vocaroo in our drive. From there, we did the three dots at the folder level. We clicked that share button and made sure that general access, anyone with the link can view. So now anything we drop into this folder, all we have to do is drag and drop. It gets downloaded. Oh, which is which? I think this is the latest one, right? Nope. 919, that's right now. Okay, so we click share and guess what? Anyone with the link. So in my presentation, I just say insert audio. I go to my recent. I would perhaps rename these so you know you're using the correct ones, but it's as easy as that. So it will play on the click and I think that's exactly what you need. If you have any other questions or need further assistance, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks so much for watching.